Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> It's a different show. It's a different show. Well, Literally. kind of. <laughs> Fun. Uh, it's day seven. We're back at the Brass Rail. We are. Yes, we are. Different show with the same old queens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with that, let's welcome our guest straight guy for the night, Dustin. Hello. <laughs> You know, he's he's going to be very talkative tonight. Uh, I will try. Yes, I know. See, the good thing about him is so white. will fucking make him blush so much. Yeah. And he'll show. I don't know. He's been around for a long I time. I will make you he, blush. I don't think he's... <laughs> do you blush that easy? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I guess we'll so. find out. He's not to talk to Ian or me. I've been, I've, been, I've been partying with him before. I don't think that he blushes. You and yeah. me are two completely different things. Well, that's because I'm not, uh, you know, nasty. I'm a good Catholic Jewish well, Christian remember, woman. <laughs> you're the craigslist queen. I'm the princess. Mm -hmm. so. oh, Lord, you're a Jewish true. Catholic woman. I'm a Jewish Catholic I woman. I am too. I'm a cashier. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay. Like that. Anyways, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's go. Uh, real quick, we're gonna introduce everyone, and then we'll talk about the show and the new format and what's changed. Or should we do that first? And yeah, I think we should do that first. All right. So as we know, we're changing the format of they said. The whole concept of they said when we started it was to have uh, a true mix of the community and to have um a, to have a straight guy and a straight girl and a transsexual. I'm not a or straight I, I'm, I wasn't looking at you yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, okay. and then we wanted a lesbian, a lesbian, and then a gay guy. And so we definitely got the gay guy. <laughs> oh, okay. And we definitely got the transsexual. <laughs> and we got the lesbian. Uh, the straight people we've had issues with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That's why we're all gay. I know, which is going to be a topic. Uh, and then tonight you were working. Yes. Because uh, that's what you do. You work here. I do. And I said, hey, be on the panel. Is and it really like that spur of the moment? Like you had no notice? Oh, yeah. Like I was in the office and she ran in and was like, hey, do you want to be on the panel? Of course. Be I on feel, the panel yeah. while you're on the clock. <laughs> yeah. Not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting paid. Isn't that good? Yeah, yeah you're the only one getting paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only one. That so. means more free drinks for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's kind of good. And we should also point out that you are a gal, the owner's son. Yes. The oldest son? Yes. All right. Because you know your dad loves me. I, I heard it's the other way around on that one. No, no, he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> he is the one that gave me his cell phone number. I didn't give him mine. Should I say? Oh, Lord. <laughs> And then next week, and you guys was, are not coming back to the press Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. No, no, no. Gail knows. In fact, we had to become like a child. Because yeah. at the Christmas party. At the, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, me and your dad, we sat together the entire time and drank. You were at their Christmas party? Oh, yeah. Were you invited or did you just show oh, yes, up? Yes, I was invited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, you never know with you. It, it could have gone both ways. Yeah, like, exactly. No one really knew Except that. I night, was, it was invited. Like, I saw an invite right. on yeah. the bar and I took it. Yeah. Yeah. I was excited. Yeah. In fact, I ended, I ended up with the with the bird. Oh yeah, yeah. She got a bird. I got we, a bird. That <laughs> um, oh. We had a, a white elephant gift exchange, and Julian, who's actually bartending, yes, decided that he wanted to go over the top with the white elephant because people go and like get funny stuff. So, like I brought a blow up doll, and that's what someone got from me. And then, but his was literally a bird. So what happened was he wrapped an empty bottle okay. of Stoli. So like when someone was grabbing for it, it looked like a bottle of Stoli. And it was one of our barbacks who got it, and he opened it, and it was like a note on it. And it's like, this is just water. Your real gift's coming. And he walked in like with a cage with a live bird in it. Right. And oh, no. A little parakeet. A little parakeet. And like, gave it to him. And I've never seen anyone look so heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> when they got a bird when, when, when getting a gift. Like, he looked like he was about to start crying. And I was like on the microphone and like really drunk at the time, so I'm like right up in his face, like somebody took a video, and I'm like, "It's a bird! It's a bird!" Like oh. screaming at him. And, and the bird, in the meantime, is like pinned to the side yeah. of this like cage, just scared out of its mind. Oh bird, was, bird was so now so you weird. have the bird. Yeah, so and I ended up with the bird. I you still have the bird? Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. I'll tell you, have a gas leak. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, in fact, I went home Thank and I, you. he's like, he has a new cage and he's like totally spoiled. What's his name? Charger. <laughs> it's cute. It's very cute. Anyway, so thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're very excited because this is our first night back in a month. 
So, and we should also mention that uh, Courtney is not uh, going to be on this panel anymore, but we are starting another show with her, which I think will be, it will actually will be much, I think, better suited, and it'll be a lot of fun. And she's going to have guests, and it's going to be, it should be fun when we get it all going. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous. And Aaron said, stop banging the table. <laughs> but we love Courtney. He knows that I'm, we totally And love I want Courtney. to be a guest on her show. We should all <laughs> Yeah, I think we all could. Uh, sure. Well, maybe not me. It's just, I think she's about to be right now, but that's all right. That's all love. Oh, Lord. Anyway, so what did you do this month? Let's get back to you, because you had a very busy weekend that we want to talk about. Let's go to Holly Andra. What did you do this past you month? Had a, a more interesting no, I did not, because you're apparently not single anymore. And that's with a 22 year old. <laughs> well, no wonder you got your eyes done. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> she did. She has she Botox. Does? Yeah. Because I looked at Botox. You got, Botox. No, you got Botox. She got, no, a vitamin day. injections. What did you do? Oh, I didn't know you got injections. You yeah. just yeah, said the it was vitamin like, injections. It's a vitamin injection. Vitamin of vitamin what? It's amino acids. Yeah. And what does it do? It tightens everything yeah. up. It's oh, good. I love that. Really? I do too. I'm. Where do you go to get that done? <laughs> yeah, everyone's all. <laughs> Did my butt and my lips. Oh, so this is like that weird pumping. No, 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 no. That is fine. You know, she's yeah. license and everything. That's not a garage party. Yeah. Does she charge like a lot? Uh, yes. Well, no, it's like around $300, $200, depending on how wrinkly your face is. So. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, okay, um, we'll no, get it. Yeah, she's all. Awesome. Last time I did it, it lasted about three years. Yeah, that's really? for a while. Yeah. It, we, it's a very noticeable difference. Yeah. You look fabulous right Thank now. You. Yeah, and your butt, and your I, butt grew too, which is weird in the past month. Well, I said I <laughs> okay. My butt grew too. Yeah, my butt grew too. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about that later too. So you didn't do anything exciting? Um, no, I'm putting on together next Sunday the Miss Mexico Gay pageant that we normally used to have at uh, most, but since they start disliking me, us, our Latino night there. Um, we haven't been able to do it for two years, so finally I got to talk to Richard, and we're going to have it here next Sunday. Oh, good. What did, you guys, well. what did you guys do at Moe's that they don't like Well, you? apparently, and <laughs> yeah. I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure you know this, but like, honestly, I think so. Like, when Mexicans get drunk, we tend to be loud and messy. And well, hello. Or demanding. I don't, I don't know. I don't get demanding. I just pull up to the bar. Julian already knows. I don't even ask him for shit. So <laughs> But, Don't you, didn't you see that video uh, the, from La Oh, yeah. Okay. No, then, uh, that was a fight, bitch. That was nobody ordering nothing. No, they, were, they were trying to order burritos. No, this was because they were I re watched that video. When was the last time we watched that video? Uh, I don't know. I rewatched it. Uh, why I rewatched it? Not too terribly long ago. I know I'm interrupting, but what was so funny is that you know. But I'm gonna do it anyway. It's like a really bad movie that you know you watch. You watch it and you're like, oh yeah, I've seen this hundred times. Every time I watch that video, I see something different. And this time I noticed there was this one queen that was sitting at the table, which I swear could have been me if I would have been there. It was not me. But she just sat there and she just continued eating the entire time that everything was going on. She just continued. But see, that everyone was everyone's fighting. Video. Was she watching at least? Yeah, like, she was watching the fight. Oh, okay. That would have been I don't me. Need, I don't need to watch video because I get like both sides of the story because I know both of right. started that shit so I still would have been eating so, so and you're so anyhow what I was saying about that it was like you know since they did remodel um most uh, apparently when we had one Latino night right after their day we were modeling, um, somebody went and broke some shit over oh, there no. and you know so and it's only uh, camera we'll and everything, which I totally don't blame it for for you know not wanting it but it was just kind of harsh because we were there for like more than 10 years and for oh, wow. just cut wow, it off, wow, that's big deal. and it was one of the so you're gonna come here and break stuff Huh? You're gonna come here and break stuff. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, good. Yeah. Good for you, girl. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm, I'm like Richard's really supportive of whatever I ask him if I can do that here. He'll let me do it because he knows I'm bringing in a good crowd and stuff like that. So you do. That's what I'm working on right now. Cause the like, walls are padded here, yeah. so it's fun. I got like ten <laughs> contestants and I'm making like all their bathing suits and all that stuff. So. You're making this stuff for them. Oh, okay. that's dedication. And then you know, that's not easy. We're gonna have him with a judge in our panel, so. That's gonna be. Interesting. That should be good because you know he drinks. Yeah. Talk about breaking things when you drink. He Hello. Said, so how much does it pay? I said, don't worry, bitch. I'll just get you free drinks. But I'm in. <laughs> I want to be a judge. Um, I don't think I don't think that you should be allowed to judge. I think that Olive One More should be a judge. Uh, I think, I think, you know since what? you know she only comes out for I mean, a I special occasion. She's out next week. Miss Universe, that we're gonna do like. 
probably around June or July. I was raised around beauty pageants, so I'm a, I'd be a great judge. So, yeah, I'm thinking Just about saying. that on, uh, around June or July, so. Oh, fun, fun. Hmm. Good for you, girl. Judge. That would be a lovely. So much fun. And then we'll have the, the camera from they say. And so you're, okay, so uh, that's all fun and, and exciting. So you're not single anymore? Well, my boyfriend's not single. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. That is a good explanation. Best, best way to put that. And how long has he not been single? Well, here's the thing. I met him about a year ago. And then, like, we were just, like, fuck buddies, I guess, for a while. And then he went overseas for, like, six months. And he came back about two weeks ago. And, uh, I guess the distance took it. And, that, and the and vitamin uh, shots and... No, bitch, I did this. Yeah. <laughs> okay? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting him to be, like, back until, like, next month. Because this is the funny thing. He kept sending messages to his friend to text me and telling me when he was coming back home. Oh, it sounds like a 22-year-old. So, um, I got a text of, uh, from his friend saying that he was going to come back next month. And then it turned out that he came back like, two, two weeks ago. So, I had already done this. Missing. Just saying. Just hmm. so, you know. so now and you're in love. Just you know, when you're fucking a younger person, you <laughs> take away their youth and oh my god. Like hocus I did not see that. How old are you? Twenty three. Mm -hmm. You're really? 23? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Whoops. Sorry about so that 22 right. year old comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're 23 too, right? How old are you? Really? He's 24. How old are you? I'm old enough. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. Oh, my shoot. Okay. How old are you? Craigslist says I'm 20. 40. Yeah. How, 41. You are? How old are you? I don't worry about it. <laughs> but my I, birthday is next month, I'm May 23rd. So. I'm May 14th. Mine is May, May 7th, and it's a Monday, so... Mine is June! Birthday cake for me. Great. So we're as as we're mapping out. May is going to be fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. week. When is your birthday? <laughs> December 3rd. Because we'll be staying for, um, what is it? 80s nights. Every I do, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I work a day job these days. <laughs> All right, moving on. What did you? What have you been doing? Let's see. A lot been going on. I just came back from Dinah Shore weekend. Palm Springs had a great time. I decided to go down last minute on a Saturday night, so I got down there at nine o'clock and I met some girls that I hooked up with last year, not hooked up, hooked oh, up. So did you know them before you were going out there? or? I met them last year at Dinah Shore, and so I was out shopping with a friend, and I started getting all these text messages saying, hey, you coming to Dinah? I was like, I don't know, I have a place to stay. And they're like, come stay with us. So I ended up staying in a mid-century home that was gorgeous, and it was a five-bedroom home with four private casitas and a pool and a had a putting green and an outdoor chess set, <laughs> a grill. It was awesome. And my own private casita. Who did casita. you stay with? Some lesbians I met last year. <laughs> <laughs> I thought only gay guys did that. Yeah, they all It's Dinosaur together. Weekend, not White Party Weekend. <laughs> it was White Party Weekend. No, she she went to Dinosaur last weekend. That was two weekends ago. Oh, so Dinosaur was two weekends ago? Oh, so I guess it was two weekends It was the week ago. before this. Yeah, oh, that was the Oh, oh. That was two weekends ago. That's yeah. so confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, it's, like, it's, yeah. technically it's, like it's a new Easter. week. Now. But still, I didn't think. I did not think that. Uh, well, I guess gay people wouldn't really do that. No, gay. I know gay people that for white party rented out like a fun. whole resort. But was, like, just on a Saturday night, they're like, you met, I met you last week. Oh, oh last year. And yeah, come back out and see us. Uh, no, gay guys, I think, would be over by now. Straight people pretty, would do it, I think. It was pretty what, close to everything. People? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I, that's, I think we need to come up with a, like something like that for trannies and crossdressers or something like that. It's called, it's called, um, it's called Blenders. It's called well, Craigslist. Yeah. No, 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 you know how the gays got the white party and everything. So oh, a tranny? Yeah. Oh, girl, could yeah. you imagine what that would be like? I know. Let's oh, talk about know. that. Well, you should try it. I know. I'm you know, a couple of weeks ago, the, the Little People's Convention was going on in town. Oh, how fun. I yeah. love to go. Do you know how many? I would, too. I would love but that. I'm afraid. I'm just too afraid. And I you know, I got <laughs> so many times. Go back to the time <laughs> weekend. We had a great time. It was fun. So a friend that I met also last year came and joined. She stayed there as well. And a beautiful black lady. Big gal. Gorgeous, though. <laughs> and we, well, I go, she's like, go to this party. We're going to go to this party on Saturday night. So I go with her. And other gals did something. They went to the $100 party. We didn't want to pay for it. So we, we went to this other party because it was 10 bucks to get I'm like, 10 bucks, cool, you know. $10 that dollars for a uh, so, <laughs> so anyway, I go in, and it's all black ladies. I was the only white lady in the whole party. That's right? hot. Were so, you being chased? <laughs> well, so there's downstairs and upstairs. <laughs> you totally missing that. Yeah. <laughs> so I get to 
the upstairs party, I walk in and my friend Nikki's up front. She's gorgeous. She's got this long dress on and heels and she's like six foot four right in her heels. She walks by and she's stunning and everyone's looking at her. I walk in and this old black lady grabs me. She's wearing a zoot suit. So she's got like a beautiful hat, you know, and the matching jacket and the matching pants and the perfect shoes. And she pulls me, she grabs my arm and she pulls me in. She says, is that, is that your woman? And before, <laughs> and before I had a chance to answer, she said, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Just like that too. Good for you. And good for you. <laughs> That's hot. Was she? Oh, did you oh, have she, sex that weekend? Hot. Well, you know, it's kind of short. I'm just I asking. Did you I have, have sex that weekend? Do lesbians do that? Do they use dinosaurs as a way to hook up? And Ooh, like, why wouldn't you? Well, because it, I don't think lesbians have sex. There's something about dinosaurs, <laughs> and I'm not a tramp. I'm from the Midwest. But there's something about dinosaurs that turns people into meat. Oh, you know, it's because wow, it's just all of But how long have you been in San Diego or California? 16 years. There you go. And I've gone to Dino Shore every year but one. And every year I think, oh, I'm not going to go this year. And that was this you, how do you think, do you think that the, there is a difference between Dino Shore weekend for the lesbians, and which is a party weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, the white party for the gay boys? I think it's the same thing, except for the gay boys spend a lot more money. Their parties are $200. Right. And I more think that, that. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the, I think the gay boys spend a lot more time. Oh, I mean, God. like four months starving, starving, starving developing and like eating disorders. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I spent, I spent three hours. I spent three hours, I spent three hours getting ready. I, yeah. I brought all my clothes in a laundry basket. I showed up in this nice place, and I'm like, hey, got my loot and found luggage. I have my laundry basket. Where my Birkenstocks? I <laughs> 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 all my pajamas. <laughs> But I had bitch that's full of Oh, yeah, they seem to like me. Right? <laughs> you would not see that. Might be because I showed up with two no, kids. No, you would not. <laughs> I had a friend that went to the white party who, for the first time in four years since he's been single. I mean, he's been in a relationship for four years. So he hasn't gone to the white party. Before that, he used to go, like, mad. And so he wore these, um, he had these white fringe pants made four years ago. That <laughs> he still wearing? He wanted to wear. Yeah. And so I was texting friends this weekend, and I'm like, if you see this guy walking around in white fringe pants, tell him that to you take those white fringe pants <laughs> off and change outfits. <laughs> those are so no, 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 you wouldn't say that. I was going to be like, you know, we saw someone in those white fringe pants like three years ago. And just be like, even though it was his. I remember you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're, um, we're going to take a break, I guess, because we're at, Perfect. I don't know. And then we'll come back and talk about what you did and oh. your long, exciting weekend. Oh, oh look, Jealous just showed up. long and exciting. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take a quick break. Fabulous. Way awesome. to wake up. Shoot. And we are back. That was lame. Back. You're supposed to be more excited. Uh, no, I knew that no, he was. I, <laughs> wanted, I knew Ian wanted to take it. I finished that and take it. Take what? Take the end of that. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> 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 so what did you do? We heard you had an exciting weekend. Oh no, not really. Ditching brothers at the bar. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I heard I, that you ditched your uh, brother I did last ditch night. My little brother last night. He wasn't too happy about it either. Did, yeah, he, I did he know that you were ditching him? Yeah. Did he know you got laid? <laughs> I didn't. Did? I didn't get laid. What? Okay, you don't ditch someone and you not get your laid. Brother oh didn't get anything out of you. I cuddled. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think yeah, that kidding. Kidding. cuddling no, is no, the no. new. She got that after, uh, first got of all, but first of all, if I got laid, I wouldn't tell you bitches about it. But you don't have to. Off, you don't need to. Uh, Look at I, your face is glowing. So what did I do? And since you just cuddled, <laughs> I went. Um, I did. A, I was gonna go to white party. Because uh, I had friends that were there, and I was gonna go up yesterday afternoon, but I figured I'd surprise the family. So I went to my parents' house to surprise my mom, kind of thing, and played with the nephews, and then got drunk with my dad, which was really fun. And then my brother and I decided to go out to a gay bar in Pomona. <laughs> so we went to this gay bar and got like a little tipsy, and I met some cute boy and in Pomona. Yeah, in Pomona. And, Pomona. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, and then my car, my brothers. <laughs> this is really bad. Then we left the bar, and I'm standing out front, and I jumped in the cab with the boys and <laughs> went to the house. <laughs> Meanwhile. Uh, my brother was uh, dealing with his car getting broken into, and I'm like, oh, oopsie. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. So you didn't even. So did he tell you, and then you didn't even go back and help your brother? 
Uh, well, he was texting me. Well, I, he, my brother came over to the house, so he knew these He was people. too busy to... I know. I was concerned with that. I was on a like, trip away out of town. Yeah. I was having fun. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered with your... I friend. was having fun. You were yeah. cuddling. Yeah. <laughs> Pomona is up to 60 um, and the 57 freeway. Yeah. Okay. So it's like LA in the oh, yeah. Empire okay. kind of thing, yeah. And your brother's gay too? Or you just Yeah, my youngest brother is gay. Yeah. He's masculine though. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm oh, masculine. And speaking of he's speaking a twink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's not a twink. Well, he's got that twink look. But uh, okay, whatever. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I whatever. did, and you know, I just kind of needed to get away for a day out of San Diego, and you know, and now I'm back to reality. So <laughs> speaking of hooking up, and uh, this was uh, actually talked about this on the talk today, which I thought was an interesting conversation. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, the Walk of Shame. Oh, call girl, done it a million times. Right. <laughs> do you? It's horrible. Do you still really think that it's horrible? Yes. The Walk of Shame. The Walk of Shame. What is that? Yes. The Walk, the walk of Shame. Hila- the Walk of Shame's hilarious. It's hilarious, but it's still like. Okay. What is your? Okay. First off, what is your definition of a Walk of Shame? The definition of my Walk of Shame is I jumped in a cab with somebody. <laughs> we went back to their house. Um, slept and I was obviously intoxicated or you're intoxicated. I was just not for this to me. You are intoxicated. You wake up the next morning, you don't have transportation, so you've got to walk to your car or something and your hair is all like <laughs> fucked up. Your face. Yeah, you're, you're, like wearing, you're wearing like nighttime clothes at 10 a.m. You brush your teeth with your finger. Yeah. No, you're like... And and then that, you're, imagine that with thigh high boots. Yeah. And then you're walking down the street going, I'm God, someone's gonna see me. Oh my God, someone's gonna see me. Yeah, it's that's the walk of shame. Oh no, I don't. Yeah, no, that was like. But then, okay, so then now there's car to go, which is gonna help with that walk. Okay, shame. I totally love. <laughs> that should be their ad campaign. Yeah. yeah. Do, do lesbians have the walk of shame? Oh yeah, definitely. But they wear the same thing at night as they do in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you'd be a problem for the butch lesbians. Oh, a hoodie and yeah. jeans. Uh, but yeah. that's, that's that's that goes to my that was gonna talk about the guys. Well, the best time, the best walk of shame you'll ever see is Halloween weekend. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I've done that. That's I went, totally true. I went and visited my brother up at Cal Poly um, in San Luis Obispo oh, last oh. Halloween. <laughs> and the next morning, his neighbors are day partiers, so they're out like, they wake up every morning, like, put a keg in their front yard and, like, drink. But they were sitting out there with pots and pans, <laughs> and every time someone walked by doing the walk of shame, like, six guys, like, bah, 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 bah. So and everyone, like, like oh, here's God. what happens. And then you see, like, my brother's friends, like, come walk into his place, and they're wearing, like, their costumes from last night, and the costumes are already, like, all tore up at this point, because, I mean, it's, like, my brother's in a frat, so it's, right. like, straight frat guy's costume, so it's, like, <laughs> I want to come to that party together. next year. Like, a pregnant nun. <laughs> it's yeah. all thrown yeah. together, like, the last yeah. minute, so it's all, they all get together, and like, okay, what weird stuff do you have? So they just, like, put on, like, random stuff, and then that's what they go out in that night. So they come back, and it looks even weirder. Imagine like they that more stuff. like a cheerleader outfit. No, they should dress, <laughs> yeah. trust me, I've experienced this. You dress in drag on Halloween, and you crash at someone's house, and you don't have a change of clothes, so the next day, you're walking around with this hair, a wig in your one arm, yeah. you're still wearing nylons, and you don't have a shirt, so you're like, no. <laughs> That just happened to me on a very regular basis. Well, I have to say, I love, talking about Halloween and the Walk of Shame, my, my favorite thing to do is uh, to go to uh, Martini's about 4th, and oh, and watch the people come out of the bathhouse. Oh, it's funny. Oh, the bathhouse? It's, it's across the street. The street. <laughs> yeah, so the day after Halloween, I used to like to go and, and watch people leave the bathhouse. It's also good, it's also so good, FYI, on Pride Weekend. If you go to Martinis and sit there on the balcony, yeah. you see the line. And then Sundays when we used to be open, because it's tragic, because people have been partying all weekend. And then they're like leaving the bathhouse, and you're <laughs> like, oh girl. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. When they think nobody's looking, we're looking. Let's <laughs> yeah. yeah. go. So, all right, that's why give us something to talk about. To my house. Let's uh, see. You would do the because you came up with a bunch of topics. I did come up with a bunch of topics. Uh, and I don't like to prepare myself. I found this interesting because uh, I think we've been on hiatus since the whole Whitney Houston yep. death kind of thing. Yeah, we were talking about. Um, so like the autopsy came back, and I'm sure everybody knows this, but like it's interesting because I'm wondering like people's like opinions <laughs> because it's uh, she was you know the autopsy came back and when it said that when she was found the water was 94 91.4 degrees 
and she had been in there for six hours. So when she died, it was at 150 degrees. Um, she was found with a needle mark, she was found with cocaine, Xanax, marijuana, everything in her body. Um, and her skin was like lifting, so it was like thing. And I'm, I, I'm actually like over the whole Whitney talk because I think they should leave it out. I'd get enough to bring but, it up, but just to bring it up this one time. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your so so? What do you think about that? Um, oh, and she was face down. So what do you think about the autopsy in general and all of that? Um, I think there's something weird with this whole thing. Like, like, what do you mean by that? I don't think this was natural in a sense. Like, like she first of all, why would you get into a tub that's 150 degrees face down? No one would purposely immerse himself in scalding hot. How are you getting a tub to that 150 no degrees? Way. Period. Right. Like, exactly. you have to take off like everything off the water heater basically and turn it on to get it that hot and. Yeah. Even if she was like. So are you saying then that you think that she was killed? Um, I like from reading everything. I think yeah. I think there's some. I think there's a weird. What do you think? Maybe she was, was trying to cover up with, the with somebody, and then this person just kind of like slipped away, and they're trying to cover that up. Maybe they're trying to cover up. And the she death. had blood I, down her leg. Anything? What do you think about that? Well, they made it sound like it was the drug dealer trying to cover their tracks, so they wouldn't be caught for being the drug. Dealer, maybe. I don't. Hmm. I mean, just it doesn't make sense that anyone would immerse himself in scalding yeah. hot water. You want to if you're even trying to kill like yourself. Facing down. How would yeah. you choose to kill yourself? Something quick like that'd and be painless. Like the worst kind of way thing. to do it. I would never want to like if like killing awful. like killing yourself is is something extreme. Like it's already like to get to that point, you have to be beyond everything. But I feel like once someone gets to that point, they figure something out that's going to be at least easier on them personally right. like and I don't see that as being quick well, now, yeah and now here's the interesting part on the flip side of all this she has been like friends of hers are saying that she was slashing herself she was cutting herself about when she would see pictures of her boyfriend Ray J like with other women she was like self mutilation um, um, and then, if you think about it, though, and I'm playing like both sides here, but with all those drugs found in her system, did she hit a point of where like she was over it, kind of thing, and did it as a suicidal? Thing? I say this. Okay, this is in my opinion, and then this will ignite all of you and get you going. Oh, here we I go. I think that they. <laughs> I think that unfortunately, they, they do sensationalize it. I think that her camp had something to do with what was released. I think that it is sad, and what I was most taken by is that I was really rooting for her that they wouldn't have found drugs oh, I and I know that it was on there that I've said it before I was really hoping that she wouldn't have done the drugs what I uh, what I don't understand and it happens in our community as well is that when someone does something and they do overdose, which I think this simply could have been an overdose. I think that she could have been in the bathroom. You, have you ever done drugs? Have you ever partied like a madman? <laughs> I, 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 I have a past, yes. Right, have I you? have a past. I've partied before, yeah. yeah you? I have a past. Have Your mom's not watching. Go ahead. You can answer. <laughs> um, no, nothing explicit or anything like that. You? No. Okay, I have partied like a mad woman. I mean, a mad woman. Yeah. And I know that when I am have been high, I have done things with, you know, in my room that I would never do. Oh, true. When I wasn't. Now, when but I you was, also wouldn't on, get into a 150 degree hot. Water. I don't know. But what if you? Got I don't in, know. In fact, I will tell you. I, I, I will tell you a story. I will tell you a story. I see. I see Here, I will tell you a story. Now. This is a true story. And and I, the other part of that, what I was, and I'll finish, and then I was gonna say, if I did overdose or something, uh -huh. depending on who you are. People will sensationalize it. Oh, of course. I think that if something, if I, you know, like I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I died, no matter how I die, will be 100 percent bigger than how it really happened. Well, yeah, because people like the whole gossip. Thing right. So that is kind of where I'm going with this. But here is a drug, and where your mind is totally thin. I was with uh, some people. There were two other people. We were uh, doing a show, and that's when uh, when cocaine. Well, I cannot believe really, I'm gonna tell the story. Was very <laughs> like was insanely popular, and we were doing it, and we had oh uh, huge, huge it's cocaine. Made us come back though. <laughs> and so yeah, it is making come back. So we had partied on. We were there for it was a three night thing. We had partied on the first night. We did too much. The second night we realized that we used more the first night than we could, you know what I'm saying, because we didn't spread it out. So we're sitting there and we're tapping it on the counter and that little glass vial broke. 
Now, it's shredded in the glass. Now, oh a, God, smart, don't tell me you did a it. smart person would be like, girl, there's broken glass. No, no, no. Oh, we uh, shredded it up even more and like oh tried to go through and find the glass and then still did it. So my point to the story is, is that yes. that if she was <laughs> have that much drugs in her system, no, I can't. we don't know that she didn't yeah, party point. more. We don't know that she didn't turn yeah. on that hot water. We don't know that she didn't fall into that bathtub. I just think that that what is sad is that she died. Yeah, Seriously. and that we I lost agree. an incredible person. That really lost her career. Amazing talent. Amazing. Um, I think she lost her career. Was, I think it, now, like I think when like, she I did think her, what's sad about the whole thing is like that now hopefully that's not what her legacy is going to be it will be but so. uh, yeah. but she also has the uh, sparkle coming out shortly so that was like well, the final product so hopefully I mean, she was good enough hopefully it'll wrap and, and with that kind of yeah. thing you know what I mean so so I just I think it's sad that they sensationalize it yeah that's well, my thing yeah, it's the public they love it so it looks like we're going to take a break right now <laughs> and we will be right back <laughs> that was an awkward yeah. What? <laughs> we We're are back. back. <laughs> that was too much of a pause. That's fine, This is getting a little weird. Well, we need to drink more. I'm wearing my fat girl bangs tonight. So you guys all heard. Um, this happened like what a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, there was the Atlantis, the Atlantis cruise, which is like for the people who might not. Know. He might know. Do you know um, Atlantis cruises? The Atlantis, they always do these big, huge gay cruises because the gays love to party and have like an occasion really? for anything. So there's always these different destinations. Well, one went down to the Dominican Republic, and these two men were arrested and detained because they were caught. They were on their balcony on the ship, and they were caught having sex. And I've actually seen pictures of they were having sex. <laughs> um, naked, da, da, da. so the shore, you know, they were arrested by authorities. Uh, and like basically they had to pay a $900 uh, bail or fee, and then they were deported out of the country kind of thing. Right. So that's what happened. Um, and I, to me, I was kind of like, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've had sex in public, so it's kind of like. <laughs> but what do you think about being on a cruise? They're and would you do boat? that? They were on the boats. But they were on. But it's also Dominican Republic is not a gay friendly. And then they got arrested once they went on to land. I don't. Was think this so. in uh, broad daylight or? No? Yeah, they it was were. Broad they were like, yeah. So it wasn't short. the rhythm of the night. No, it wasn't. No, no, it was the middle of the day. They well, pulled yeah, into port and, and had done it. Now to like, so they weren't in international waters anymore. anymore. Yeah, they were. They still were. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. They were the Dominican Republic. But do you think like I was curious? As I know, gay men do this. Hello, they have sex in public. But do like le like with lesbians? Well, do you I'm think more... it was a thing racial? I'm like, not racially, Wait. but do you think it was like a thing because of their sexuality? Because it was two guys. Have you, okay, first off, have you ever been on a gay cruise? I've never been. I've never been on a gay cruise. Never been on a cruise. Have you anyone? I've been on a gay cruise, and a gay cruise. I, there's my my opinion on it. On a gay cruise, they are very, uh, they are very straightforward about saying you are in. And even if you're going to go book a gay cruise on their website, they say you need to be respectful of the other country's laws. So you're in another. Country. But you should not like if you're doing a gay cruise. Hold on, I wasn't the, done. The, okay, first off, the I producers wasn't... of these events should not be going to those destinations. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm not saying. Okay, that's like... if you okay, if you go anywhere. A cruise or not, you need to know where you're going and you need to respect their laws. If you want people to come to the United States and respect our laws, yeah. then when you go to another country, you've got to respect their laws. That's, that's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah. It still, doesn't matter if you're gay or straight or whatever. You've got enough. to respect that's their totally laws. That's understandable, but you're right. on a gay cruise and you get caught up in the moment and you're like on a party thing and you're not thinking. You got your private room and you're like... It's they weren't in a different. private room. They were on their balcony. Yeah. And the other They're part about this... Room. Balcony of the other, room, though, right? The other part of this is that the Atlantis released released a statement saying that passengers on the cruise complained repeatedly about these two and their sexual activities throughout the cruise. Passengers complained about them. But do you think... And that, that and before that they were even arrested, Atlantis uh, told them how to talk with them and the cruise line how to talk with them and told them that they needed to be in their room, that they were out of control. 
And that is on, on their, their website. Balcony, but, uh, but do you think the same thing would have happened if it was a heterosexual couple? Yes. yes. Yeah. I in, don't. In that I area, don't. probably. Exactly. Yeah. I know that. I saw the pictures. <laughs> I mean, like... You can fuck in a fucking bathroom. Why go in the yeah. balcony? Yeah. And if you have they, your room right there. I think you right have there. the gay discrim- discrimination card on yeah. there. It's just yeah, not that, it, No, I'm asking... I'm asking the question. 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 I think right. it was the passengers that were complaining again, uh, about it, you know? And the passengers were like gay people. Yeah, the yeah. passengers were not complaining. They were. Actually, got, well, uh, did you go to their website? Well, of course, they're going to say whatever they're going to say to cover up their own tracks, but I don't think... Do you think the crew said anywhere in their contract that you have to have your pants on if you're an outside No, because they do parties that are like fucking brief parties. But what the, but what the website say is that you need to res- yeah. be respectful of yeah. the country's laws. Yeah. I think, and I found what the most interesting twist on the story is that one of the guys that was caught is a retired police officer right. from Which L.A. Is- she going to the porn industry now, though. He'd probably get oh, they'll probably get offers yeah. for porn. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But I, mean, but I do think that there's... I mean, and that is what I have a problem with a lot of the gay papers, is that I think that they release... And all papers. I don't want to say that it's a gay thing, but all papers. Republican papers, Democratic papers, Fox News, CNN, whatever, whatever network. They are... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, there. You get one side of a story. Of course, well, that's with that, any media. Yeah, I mean, right. it's all. That's the way it's going to be. Like, it's right. very rare that you see both sides. But at the same time, the cruise ship must have been somewhat upset with it because they can't. Like, if it's on the ship in the waters, as the way I interpret, like the laws and everything like that, that country has no authority on that ship. That's true. So they wouldn't just let the cops come. Like, they're not allowed to come onto the ship. It would have to be them saying, okay, like allowing them to come on or telling them who it was once they got off. You're right. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. the only way that would that would have happened. Well, Otherwise, they were like, detained there. Well, so. it said, like I read online that it said that like people could see them offshore, like from, yeah, from right. the shore. So yeah. they must have been like, yeah. maybe once they actually are in port and like tied on the dock, then they're wi- within that country's limitations. But if they're like anchored off, I, I think it'd be a little different. Yeah, no, no, because people were like, there was like this guy that said uh, on his radio show, he got calls from people saying that they were on the cruise and that they saw him from the shore. Yeah, but I also feel like, I mean, if you're on a gay cruise, you know there's going to be like crazy behavior, period. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the the coordinators of an event should not like put, I mean, granted, you should not be having sex like where people can see you like, well, I mean, that's part of the fun of it. But it's like where like generally you're sitting there facing it. But, but they should not be coordinating trips to places okay, that do I not say, accept I days. think that's bullshit. And that's bullshit. I think that it, that it doesn't matter what cruise that you are. No company should be responsible for anybody's actions. You choose. I disagree. Well, I disagree. That, if, okay, you're, if you're okay, coordinating... That would be like... That would be... Well, I'd probably have the other analysis. That would be like saying the brass rail who has a bar is going to have a function and that they are going to do it but they are responsible for if you get drunk. No, I'm and not then saying how you res- it's absolutely. I'm not saying they're responsible, but I'm saying if I'm paying two grand for a trip on a cruise, I should be going to a destination that's going to welcome my lifestyle. Like I want to be able to walk down the street with another guy. You shouldn't have no, to hide who you be, are. It shouldn't be against the law. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's like they should. What can they the cruise should, ship really do? Then, then don't go. There's a lot of places in the world well, that you should go. not but, go. I mean, why put people at jeopardy? Because you've got to be public sex. No, no, not as far as I know. I think it's more more of like the public sex thing than. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is the Dominican Republic does has laws against homosexuality. They do not accept homosexuality, so that's. I don't know, but I uh, I saw that too. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I think that that if you're gonna go, you've got to be grown up enough to to realize where you're going. Keep it in your motherfucking pants. That's it. That's (laughs) it. (laughs) Unless you're in the privacy of your own house. Yeah. Or go to the back room. Room. You can't control uh, what other people do, and even if people are complaining about it, the cruise ship has no proof, right? So they can't kick them off unless they have proof. Yeah, well, there had to have been right. something right. that happened. Yeah, there was like having sex on your balcony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so the moral of the story end. is if you have sex in your balcony, do it balcony. when it's nighttime and no one gets yeah. out. Or do it when the boat is facing the opposite other way. But I also and and I will say because I've been on several gay cruises that I think that the companies do do a phenomenal job. Oh. I think that Atlantis and RSVP and even the cruise lines that they work with do a phenomenal job because 
I'm telling you, I've been on a gay cruise. Well, maybe I need to find a sponsor and go on a gay cruise. But <laughs> you should. But until you've been on a gay cruise and you see what goes on and you see the parties and you know that what they do on the gay cruise, they would never allow, never ever allow on any other cruise. Because I've been on straight cruises. Oh, no, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Straight so, cruises are. Yeah. I mean, I, I still make an ass of myself when I go, but like. Right. I was you, have that, you have to have someone like take I heterosexual like, cruises like completely like bleh. Well, I have a no, I, yeah, I, I do too. I really? have tons of fun, but I mean I've only been on I haven't been on like a singles cruise or something like that, which is probably a singles uh, cruise a single straight cruise is probably the same as like a gay right. cruise, like with what you can do. But when I go on cruises like families are there and stuff like that, so it's yeah. I mean, I still get like Late. obscene and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> And get really drunk and everything, and I'm like the only one walking straight as the boat's like going back and forth. But <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but don't you do stuff with your family? You're you kind yeah. of all gone, yeah. So now we're gonna kind of like go into events, kind of. Uh, and I don't really, I didn't plan on like the events thing, but the biggest event that's coming up in uh, two weeks, two weeks, April 26th, is Dining Out for Life. Uh, which benefits the uh, HIV and AIDS programs of the San Diego LGBT Community Center. We have over 100 different restaurants participating, and we're still looking for volunteers to serve as ambassadors and hosts. So, oh my God, that they said, oh, oh my God, sign me up. That they, you all should like volunteer and be the service <laughs> ambassadors or something at a restaurant. Can yes. you remind us how to sign up? Yes, you can sign up at the Center SD. Dot, oh, yeah, the good. center sd.org. <laughs> go to the events tab, Dining Out for Life, and you can sign up to volunteer that way. So, um, and even if you don't volunteer, yeah. you go and support it. Oh, definitely. And it's an all day event from early morning until late at night. So, I mean, just go on and support that. I'm sure many of the bartenders here at the Brass Well will be donating. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so the participating locations are doing 25 to 100 percent of their gross sales. So that's amazing. Also coming up is again Miss Miss Gay Mexico City 2012 uh, Alejandro's event on what day? Next Sunday. April Sunday, 15th. April 15th. Tax day. No, it's not tax day. Tax day is actually the 17th oh, this God. year. I know, I haven't done mine either. Um, and then, and I learned all about this last week with an IRS guy. And then also <laughs> on tax day. That was another trick. <laughs> next next uh, Tuesday, uh, there's going to be a fundraiser at Martini's Above Fourth with uh, that benefits, what's actually a center fundraiser that benefits uh, youth housing and the Hillcrest Youth Center. And Hudson Taylor, who is the CEO of Allied Athletes. He's a you know straight athlete, wrestler, goes around and talks to colleges about like homosexual stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, he's going to be there as like a meet and greet and speak to people. So, I mean, come support that. It's all for the center. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. And that's that. Are you doing anything this week? Uh, as soon as my mom and my grandmother leave, I'm going to throw a party at my house if anyone wants to come. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. They don't watch the show. Let's go drain the, <laughs> go drain the liquor cabinet. Because right the now show. they're going through my underwear drawer saying, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> what is now this? Now we know where you're going to go. What is this? Do you have anything going on? What's going on here at the rail? Um, oh, yeah. Well, Alejandra's event technically is on Sunday, so I'll be this week. Perfect. Um, other than that, just working and stuff like that. <laughs> Gonna do Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no, somewhere. it is my no. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? See, I know more about your events than you do. No, I mean, it's the same, we have the <laughs> yeah. same ones every week. Yeah. Yeah. Sabo, Sabados <laughs> and Fuego is oh this. Oh, my God. Stop <laughs> Yeah. All right. And we know what you're doing. You're getting ready for your damn events. My uh, damn events. Your damn events. Damn events. Someone swimsuits. Yeah. yeah. Well, fabulous. All right, so I think we will be back next Monday. Yep. Yay. Monday. Monday, Monday. Monday. And may you all have an exciting week. Thanks. Okay. Even you. Thank get laid. Thank yeah. Get laid. Yeah. Get laid. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Cuddle. Yeah, just cuddle. Thank yeah, you. We'll see you next time. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>